morning students welcome to our online classes today we are going to learn a new theorem that is thevenin's theorem in previous classes we have seen electrical circuits the simple circuits can be solved by using our basic formula v is equal to ir for a linear circuits what is that it is our ohms law this law can be simplified for a simple circuits if the circuit extended further its branches um, number of sources increased in a circuit then we are unable to solve with help of our basic ohms law then we are further extended we have taken the help of superposition theorems in the theorem we have solved the network which contains number of branches number of loops number of active sources whether it's a current source or voltage sources we simplified we found whatever we required across any element or current through any element by writing current division method loop analysis and nodal analysis in that we have faced if our complex electrical networks increases so we are going to write more number of equations these equations we have to solve by using a different techniques generally we have performed in matrices in cramer's rule and this also faced some problem where the elements connected in delta r star at that case so we taken we have taken help from star delta conversion methods so by using our basic law ohms law kirchhoff laws star delta conversions and maxwell current equations different of the techniques we have used to perform analysis of our electrical networks in this way we are going to take help of thevenin's scientist theorem who is belongs to the usa let us start how the thevenin's theorem can help to solve a particular network and so we require to know any element characteristics that means if you know the voltage across that element if you know the current through the element then we are going to calculate what is the power loss what is the energy consumed and etc etc we are going to know let us see in details now so this topic regarding to 
the third semester the polytechnic students on completion of this period you would be able to know statement of thevenas theorem the explanation of thevenas theorem and problems on thevenas theorem so known to unknown means what we have already learned in previous classes as you know that many laws and theorems are available for solving the networks some of them are kirchhoff laws maxwells loop current theorems superposition theorems and other theorems also now we are going to use another a interesting theorem is known as a thevenin's theorem let me start this thevenin's theorem in details so, as you see our electrical network is a complicated as we know that our networks are connected with n number of loads at different voltages and also the sources of electricity also n number of types whether the conventional energy sources or non conventional energy sources for example you can see our ehd substation where the power comes from different energy sources like thermal power station hydro power station nuclear power station wind power station solar power station and different different substations but this energy is connected to the common grid any at one substation where it is monitored at different voltage levels as per consumer requirement the consumers may be different level they may be taken directly 132 kv consumers like you can take bhel company and indian railways directly they will take the 132 kv for traction purpose and 33 kv also has its separate consumers for big industries and 11 kv you can observe in villages itself rice mills some small industrials they will take directly 11 kv and that is converted to the 400 volts with help of their own dtr whereas as simple consumers normal consumer just like us we are taking only 400 volts or 230 volts in single phase based on this some merits and demerits of our system we are going to convert low voltage to high voltage and high voltage to low voltage correspondingly the current also changes as we know that our electrical characteristics any live wire it may be current it may be voltage it may be power factor it may be active power it may be reactive power different different etc etc power factor phase angle of different different so these characteristics sometimes we require to analysis our system stability then i required the characteristics for a particular 
element connected in our complex network. Then how to know? Oh, in particular element I want to know the some characteristics that means simple I require the what is the voltage across that element what is the current flowing through that element I required in a big complex network. So you can see as an electrical student this is a physical one substation where it comes more, more number of incoming feeders in EHT level and some of the feeders directly will goes to the different substations and the some feeders may be stepped down to the less voltage and transmitted to the nearby substations. So this physical substation is represented with our electrical circuits just like you can see here. This is the complex circuit for analysis purpose we are reduced to in our way. Now, in the circuit you can see it has a number of uh, elements in substation you know that different elements you have seen in power system the substation may be consist of bus bars circuit breakers relays cts pts lightning arresters transformers etc etc switching gear and protective equipments also and capacitor banks and these are all interconnected in a systematic way to protect our system. In particular branch I want to know the values. Then I am every time I have to calculate simplified the complex network to the simple network. If side by other element is required then I have to start from scratch some starting suppose I want the another element is required I have to start the from scratch starting so it is a, a repetitive process it is a tedious process instead of our network total network is lumped to the single arrangement two terminal element if connected the any element characteristics if we are connected at that two terminals we are going to know the, the equivalent of that values that means our total complex network is simplified with a single source and single element just like that is a, a source energy so source of voltage source for example Thevenin's theorem is a voltage source is connected one internal resistance in series here the voltage source is a V Thevenin's whatever the existing in our complex network number of voltage sources and current sources all are converted into the single source the voltage source and instead of internal resistance we connected total net what are the elements consist that equivalent ohmic value is represented in a series that is known as a or thevenets this two is connected in series and is output terminals kept ready for knowing any value we are going to connect across these terminals okay that is the thevenets theorem okay so don't panic don't confuse we will see in details okay now so here the total complex networks is simplified with the messy of the linen charles thevenin you can see this is a scientist he messed us why you are going to face so many problems simply he given us some idea that is known as the thevenin's theorem what he has given you can see here so whatever the, the circuit you can see it whatever the circuit is given complicated circuit here simple one two three elements two sources what you have seen previously it is a number of volt sources number of elements interconnected star delta series parallel and different different manner 
the total circuit com the complicated network this complicated network simplified with only single this network thevenance equivalent circuit what are the complex circuit is simplified with one voltage source one ohmic value connected in series and here is a terminal is placed okay so you can see this one here what is you can see what are the complex circuit so this circuit is here taken so this is a total complex circuit so this is a circuit and here a and b terminals is given so two terminals is output here whatever you want you connect here you are going to know that is current and voltage whatever you want the complicated network simplified with the help of voltage source with connected one series that is enough to find the values in a unknown elements here i want to give one analysis what is the analysis is given so what is the thevenin's theorem here is we know that so thevenin's is states that any linear network consisting of voltage sources and resistances if we would from any two terminals in the network can be replaced by an equivalent voltage sources that we can say v thevenin's in series with the an equivalent resistance we can say that is the r thevenin's okay so what he is saying any linear just like it obeys the ohms law any linear network consisting of voltage source maybe number of voltage sources number of current sources all sources and number of resistances connected in a network that network from two terminals where we are going to find that value if viewed from that two terminals in the network can be replaced by an equivalent voltage source in series with an equivalent resistance okay what is that we can see in example so before going that one i want to give some simple uh, analysis as you know that here you can see for example here is a okay so here is a your house okay and you are staying in village some other person in village is requested to your family to help his problem now in your house you have your father your mother and your uncle and your aunt and your brother and sister for example sometimes there is a your grandfather and grandmother also once the poor people comes to your home to help in some one aspect in problem is facing then at a time everyone has to help to him with his knowledge what will happen finally the poor fellow may be confused whether he may be listen your father your mother your grandfather and grandmother your brother or sister your uncle or aunt so unable to listen or follow one idea 
what will happen instead of solving his problem we faced the so many complexes here we can observe it suppose in another person is coming so finally you are going to concluded he was self and given the one solution to this person he has left happily now another one woman also in seeking some help at that time what will happen you are all all once again same repeating the all discussions with her and she are, she is also panic and confused state finally she will left it seems to be some some awkward then what to do so your family now decided such a way that by observing these two people or some peoples who are helpless they are required help from your family so they believed that you may be gives a good idea of solving their problems now instead of confusing them so now you have some plan what is that plan now in this case what will happen in your home you have in instead of involving all your family members mother father and grandmother grandmother aunt and all this one he represented one person for example your daddy is represented the at the same time to help him so your mother also represented instead of your 10 members only two members is ready to help if they required anything they will take the suggestions internally only options of this persons now in this case what will happen if they comes if anyone comes for help to your family and he will tells is problems to your mother and father they will listen they will come inside home discussed among the family members they will take the decisions of all they will finally conclude one solution that solution is carried by your father only and with help your mother only two members is enough sit in front of this person and help what is his problem he will give the solution then he is happy no confusion state he will go next another person comes then what is happen once again only these two fellows only represent so she is also seeking some help from your family these two your mother and father only gives a, a respective a act to that is a very good idea to the this secret person so what will happen so during this process maybe this person maybe this person maybe different persons may have the a good confidence on your family okay so this is a our analysis now this network just like you remember that what is that simply this is complicated network is our family members with all and this fellows required is a the risk element where we required to know the its characteristics and your father is one voltage source your mother is equivalent one 
resistive source. So voltage source and resistive sources are ready always in darbar and anyone comes for help they will give the ideas only perfect ideas without confusing these fellows and without involving this all assistance to your father and mother okay so this is a if you know this logic same logic we are going to apply in thevanas theorem so i think everyone is a intelligent in a family your grandmother grandfather your uncle and aunt your sister and brother everyone has a good ideas but each idea may be given to your father and mother and discussed among yourself and finally the conclusion you are going to give it that is given by your father to that secret person that is effective way so similarly we are going to do that one okay now what is happened here so what are the your family represented by your father and your mother only and background your all relatives all family members help and here whatever the the person element is required he will ask only this person so he will get the a suitable solution okay now what is happened here you can see it so here similarly our circuits also whatever your father he represented here for example here he may be connected here your family members this all connected here is a one current source a resistance and here current source voltage source resistance here resistance here voltage source and here voltage source here is a current source and here is a resistance everything so some complicated circuit this all complicated active sources elements and passive elements represented by this active elements all single represented by your father that is equal to just your father is the v source and all passive elements is represented by your mother that is simply is connected to your mother okay this total complicated circuit is converted into simple one voltage source one resistive elements now we can say this is known as the, the scientist leon charles thevenin given this idea so we can say thevenin's theorem so with this voltage source your father name is a v thevenin's v th now your mother is the r thevenin's th now these two terminals even darbar in front of your door if any person comes okay any person comes for seek here i want to connect one resistance here okay now i want to know the what is the current here then this is a load we can the rl load simply you can see it as per ohm's law or series parallel circuits rl and r thevenins your mother and this person is connected in series that is a total resistance you know the voltage v thevenins this circuit is now is a simplified into one resistance connected here you know the total resistance you know the total voltage as per the ohms law i is equal to v by r v is equal to your father r is equal to your mother and their load resistance connected in series that's a r equivalent the v by r equivalent is are going to the current that current is same passing through this one this is the i want to know simplified okay so this is a our charles thevenin given a idea and we are we saved from this complex circuits 
what of this complex circuit consists of number of voltage sources number of current sources number of passive elements all are simplified with single active source single passive element these all two are connected in series and ready to give the any load element connected across these two terminals then we can easily calculate the whatever you required in a load okay so this is a concept dear students don't confuse we will see this one by one and clearly with examples now how do you are how do you feeling what is the thevanas law so thevanas what is given your statement say so any linear network consisting of voltage sources and resistances if e would from any two terminals in the network can be replaced by an equivalent voltage source v thevanas in series with an equivalent resistance we can say or thevanas okay so let us see that one now this is a clear okay now please remember that here this is the voltage source he is your father now this is your mother now both are connected here only now rl is the the person who is required the seeking the help okay now let us see then is theorem so what is the statement a given network when we would from its any two terminals where we are going to connect the low terminals it may be entered in front of our doors back side of the doors left side of the doors and right side of the doors our house may consist of the four doors it may be can comes any door from that door we are going to concluded equivalent voltage source and resistance element okay so a given network when viewed from its any two terminals can be replaced by a single voltage source in series with a single resistance you can see it here is a linear network containing several emfs and resistances okay so this means here this is your family consists of all number of voltage sources current sources and resistive elements and here the person is coming for help whatever this is converted represented by your father and your mother only so your father is this voltage source and your mother is this one okay now you can see it this what are the complex circuit is represented by this one okay so here load in this load it is a thevenin's law so we can say here what is that one we can say here the vs is the source voltage that is a v thevenin's rs is the so r thevenin's now let us see this one that single voltage source is called thevenin's voltage source v thevenin's resistance is called thevenin's resistance so what about this circuit here so it is complicated circuit what about this circuit is a simply converted instead of single source or multi source one source what are the elements connected in the home or circuit is connected the single element now this is a two elements so here this is connected load resistance rl this is r thevenin's this is v thevenin's okay this complicated circuit is converted to the one voltage source one 
passive element connected in series ok. Now we can see how it is connected simple connected V thevenets or thevenets in series. A B terminals are the where we are going to connect the element in which we are going to find the current or voltage across that element ok. Now what are the rules for Thevenet's theorem? Now we have the family members they may be hot why always your mother and father going in front of the seekers why not us your uncle may aunt may ask. So, we have the rules and regulations it is the prestigious to our family. Similarly, we have the internal some rules and regulations similarly what are the rules we have to follow to solve a given element characteristics with the help of our Thevenin's equivalent network. Let us see I think you are understood have you understood it ok it is a very simple one. Here to calculate the Thevenin's voltage or open circuit voltage the load resistance has to be removed for example here is one circuit is given processor please remember I am once again explaining with our electrical networks what this network consists here is a one voltage source is connected one R1 resistance connected here and R2 resistance connected and load resistance connected this is a one simple circuit you can see it here the load circuit is connected across the A terminal and B terminal. Let us instead of complicated circuit the circuit consists of only one voltage source to passive elements connected here ok. Now what to do to calculate the Thevenin's equivalent or open circuit voltage that whatever the, so the resistance has to be removed here whatever you connected load resistance temporarily keep outside then what you are going to observe here simply you are going to the voltage source and this is a resistance this is a resistance and this is a terminal A this terminal B. So, you have kept aside some RL for simplification some time this is the equivalent circuit. Now I want to know that what is the voltage across the A B now. So, I want to know that if I know the current in the element you know the resistance if you know the current I into R we are going to get the that is a voltage V A B I can easily find it ok. Now, but I do not know the what is the current in the this resistance R 2 this is a R 1 this is a R 2 what to do then. So, simple equivalence I find it what is R 1 plus R 2 is connected in series that is the RT is equal to total resistance R1 plus R2 total resistance we know this is the voltage total voltage is given E1 then so this is the E1 voltage or you can see the E then we can go into that what is the current I is equal to voltage by resistance what is the E V is equal to E voltage by R is equal to R1 plus R2. So, if you know the R1 by R2 this value is substitute this value you are going through the current. Now, this current is in series circuit and same current is flowing through the R1 and same current is for the R2. Then this R current into R we are going to the voltage that equal to the equivalent voltage across the AB that voltage we are going to V Thevenin's ok. V Thevenin's is a V open circuit voltage across the AB terminals ok have you got it now then find the voltage appearing across the open circuited terminals. So, simply remove it and see from here you are going to that A and B now we for calculated the 
what is the current here? Current into resistance, we are going to get the voltage. That is known as the V Thevenin's voltage or we can say the VAB. We can say that is the open circuit, that is we can the VOC, open circuit voltage. That is a simple fire. Your father is raised here, VOC. Okay? Now, that is equal, V Thevenin's is equal to V open circuit voltage. Okay. Now, after that, your father arrived, then next your mother has to calculate equivalent values. Similarly, now replace the voltage source for your mother, replace the voltage source with its internal resistance. Okay. So, calculate the resistance of the network is weaved by open circuit low terminals. Here what is happened? Now here you can see it. Now you are going to calculate your mother that is the RTH. Across the terminal same by seeing here. Okay. Now what is happened? Here is the kept outside. Simply here voltage source. The source if voltage source consists then if voltage source consists with its internal resistance R value that means here the voltage source and its internal resistance then R small r this is small r this is the voltage then what will happen simply write the internal resistance only. If there is no internal resistance simply voltage source consists then simply short it across these two terminals. Now, in problem is not given any internal resistance, I can write it simply short these two terminals. Okay? If, if the current source is given the circuit, then what is the circuit? If current source comes, so simply open it, open circuit it. Dear students, please do not confuse, I will give you a clarity. So, what is that? Here, so you can see it, students. Here, what is happened? First case, here voltage source is given. Okay, resistance is given. Here, resistance is given. Now, we are going to calculate from seeing this side. Okay, this is a A, this is a B, and this is a R1. This is a sorry, this is the R1. This is a R2. This is a E voltage. Okay. So, here this is the circuit is given. Now, we calculated what is the uh, voltage across this one we calculated. Now, I am going to calculate what is the what is the R value or equivalent R Thevenin's value I want to know. In this case, remember one thing, if here is a voltage source is connected simply without any internal resistance, then this circuit simply short it. That means, here that becomes to the simply shorted. What is the R1? R1 is connected. And what is the R2? R2 is connected. Terminals, this is a terminals. Okay, you are seeing from this one. This is the R1 and this is a R2. What is the R1 and R2 is connected in parallel? Simply R1 into R2 by R1 plus R2 is the R thevenness. What is the equivalent value? So R1 plus R2 sorry R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 simple parallel connected. This is the fourth evidence. Suppose if this circuit same circuit if this circuit this circuit okay, consists of okay, if this circuit consists of instead of this one if you are connected so, this is the voltage source and it is connected the one. So, internal resistance now it is connected the R1, it is connected the R2. R2, this is a A, this is a B. Okay. So, this is a R1, this is a R2. Okay. And this is a small r, this is a E. In that case, R thevenness we are going to calculate that simply, simply write this is a small r. Here is a R1, R2 connected here. From this, we are going to calculate so R1, R2, a small r. 
what is the equivalent value all are connected so these are connected in series now okay now what will happen so here this circuit is becomes okay we will go down now what is happen here this circuit now it becomes to the this one and this connected here this is r2 this is a terminal a this terminal b okay now this what is this value equivalent of r1 plus small r both are connected in series now both are connected in parallel now it becomes to further what will happen now it becomes to the single circuit a and b that is equal or they have means what is the value this is equal to r1 plus small r and r2 is connected in parallel so we can write it what is the formula then simply parallel circuit we are going to get it so r1 plus small r into r2 by r1 plus r2 plus small r this is a equivalent resistance we can say that is the r thevenants okay once internal resistance is given if internal resistance is not given simply in place of small r if zero we are going to the similar previous value this is the case 2 okay what is the case 1 now here case 1 is a without voltage source without internal resistance case 2 is a the voltage source with internal resistance and case 3 if instead of voltage source if consist of the current source then what to do so in that case r1 r2 ab okay so r1 r2 without inter internal resistance then we required simply okay so we can write it simply what what is the equivalent resistance here you are going to write it where are the current source simply open it then what is the r1 what is the r2 you are connected here a and b what is the equivalent value simply what are the r thevenants now r thevenants is equal to r thevenants is equal to simply r2 only because this is a voltage okay across a ab you are going to calculate this is open no no current is flowing so that is called r thevenants is equal r2 only okay if connected the infinity resistance open circuit simply open it this are three cases you remember it okay after knowing this one then goes to our circuit now replace the voltage source with its internal resistance and calculate the resistance of the network as weaved by the open circuited load terminals that means you see it across ab terminals then what we are going to get it simply r1 and r2 connected in parallel that is equal r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 equivalent to the r thevenants okay that we can say is a internal resistance so we can see this is the thing okay so now we can write in a equation level right level now if you know the so this equivalent value so what represented in the thevenants representation now you can see it here i represented the v thevenants or thevenants connected in series and a b terminals is ready to connect the load resistance now now i am going to write our basic equations what is the current what is the load current what is the load voltage what is the power of the load concept basic formulas if you know the current voltage we are going to find whatever we required okay now you can see it what is the value now this voltage source and this resistance okay rl this is equal to r thevenants this is equal to v thevenants 
I want to know the what is the current. Now, what is the current? I is equal to V by R. V is equal to V thevenins. R is equal to R equivalent R thevenins and R all connected in series. Now we can write it R thevenins plus R L. So if you know the R L, if you know the R thevenins, if you know the V thevenins, we are going to find that what is the current in the R L. That is a simple circuit. If you want to know the what is the voltage, voltage across the leader. What is the voltage? V L is equal to load. voltage is equal to il into rl if you know the il load current if you know the resistance rl this value multiply it you are going to get the vl that is the voltage suppose i want the power so what is the power now if you know the power p is equal to what is the formula p is equal to v into i il vl vl we calculated il we calculated simple multiplication we are going to get the what is the power consumed by the load these are the basic voltage and current equations okay so you can see what are the complicated circuit simplified with simple voltage source simple resistance okay so this is a thing. now the given circuit is replaced by the thevenin's equivalent circuit the current is equal to il is equal to p thevenins by r thevenins and rl because r thevenins and rl connected in series then if you know the current then find the what is the voltage across the load that is equal il into rl and i want to know the power pl then power is equal voltage into current because this is dc circuit okay so these are the simple fied thevenins rules and regulations let us conclude rules once again okay so let us see it thevenins equivalent circuit what are the complex circuit is given the complex circuit may be consist of the number of voltage sources number of current sources number of passive elements whether it may be connected series and parallel zigzag anything what are the complex circuit that is simplified with voltage source and resistive element okay now so this complex circuit c remove the load resistance from the low resistance you can see it the represented as the low resistance after removing the load resistance they represented a and b through which you are going to c that that is the v thevenins and the r thevenins we calculate from a and b terminals okay so by removing the load resistance calculate v thevenins and r thevenins similar we previously we had discussed that is the second step third step after knowing the v thevenins after knowing the r thevenins simply so represent what are the complex circuit into single voltage source single passive element the single voltage source is the v thevenins single passive element is the r thevenins now ab ab is ready to take the any problem ab term is ready to take the any problem to solve it now load that is a consumer who is a, have some so many problems he requires some guidance he requires some mentor now your mother and father becomes a mentor they are becomes a gurus now he is they are going to preach yeah, they are going to the give the some solution to the other now load the person rl now you are ready to take across the ab terminals that is the third step okay now so for what is the fourth step simply connect it and next if you know this value simplify that what is the required il load current is equal to v thevenins by and your mother and that person connected in series then we are going to get the il load current okay these are the steps you have to remember first step what is the complex circuit 
you are going to where you are going to calculate know the characteristics are current that element you have to remove first second step from that door terminals you have to see the complex circuit then find it what is the equivalent resistance if the voltage source is represented by the short circuit if the current source is represented by the open circuit then simple series parallel you manipulate it to find the equivalent or across the ab terminals now from similarly you find that what is the voltage across a and b terminals with existing voltage sources and current sources so all existing voltage sources and current sources are represented by single voltage source now you know the orthogonal orthogonals you know the voltage dependence then simply connect in series that is ready to take any load whatever you are removed that element now you connect it and simply apply the ohms law okay these are the four steps you have to remember now let us do one problem so what is the problem here what is the term okay now we can do it using the thevenin's theorem find the current through 3 ohm resistors in a given circuit so here you can see the given circuit is given okay i want to know that current through 3 ohms resistor where is the 3 ohm resistor this is the i want to know that what is the current here the current which is current here this is the current here i want to know the what is the current here so so what to do we will do the simple step step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 we can going to calculate it okay let us do in practically so now let us do simply write what are the equation is given now given problem is the what is given this is a voltage source is given the resistance is given another resistance is given here another resistance is given okay sorry so here is it you don't want to this one okay now here terminals connect this terminal is given here you are going connected the rl what is the value this is called rl load resistance that is equal to 3 ohms so this is the 4 ohms this is the 12 ohms voltage is the 24 volts okay this is a circuit is given okay what is this one rl is equal to how much that is equal to Three ohms. Now the first step. What are the first step? Simply the first step is equal. To, step is equal. To, simply remove the RL. That is equal. To, the circuit now becomes to becomes to voltage source. Okay. Resistance. Resistance. a b terminals okay so this is the 12 ohms this is the 4 ohms this is the 24 volts okay now now we can see from this window now this is a, we are going to calculate step 1 so what is we are going to calculate that is equal to that is equal you are going to or thevenin's value first step now we can see from this one so we are going to see what is the value here we can see from here so what is happen for this purpose simply just 
whatever the this circuit simply voltage source consist without any internal resistance simply write it short it now so this is a shorted now resistance resistance now this is a this is a a this is a b okay now this is a 4 ohms this is a 12 ohms now both are connected in parallel okay now both are connected in parallel what is the value or equivalent now r equivalent is equal to you see it r equivalent is equal r thevenants equivalent 4 into 12 divided by 4 plus 12 what is the value so that is a 48 by 16 then so we are going to get it what is the value that is equal to uh, 48 divided by 16 okay this is the r thevenance value okay this is the r thevenance value r simplified with 4 4 sir 4 1 sir 4 2 sir 4 1 sir 4 3 sir so we are going to get 3 that is equal to R thevenance is equal to 3 ohms. Okay, we find it. This is called 3 ohms. We got it. Students, please don't confuse. Whatever the circuit is given, this circuit is given. Okay, this circuit is given. This value is given. Now I want to know the first step. So, what is the equivalent of R thevenance is required? R thevenance I want to know that purpose I written this one the voltage source and 4 ohms and 12 ohms I remove this value okay this is equivalent circuit now this are from this circuit I have seen from this side this AB terminals so I want to know that R thevenance what are the internal active networks replaced by the simple short if there is no internal resistance if there is internal resistance you just whatever the resistance you connect in series here in this case there is no internal resistance then short it so by shorting this source so 4 ohms and 12 ohms connected in parallel simple series parallel circuit i calculated the equivalent resistance seeing from a b terminal that is r thevenance is called r a b so what is R A B is equal three ohms. I found this value. That is the first step. Okay. Now coming to the second step. So I want to know the V thevenance I required. Okay. So you calculate the V thevenance. Now from the basis circuit. This is the basis circuit. Okay. This is the basis circuit. Now from this basis circuit. Okay. From this basis circuit, I am going to calculate now this is the voltage this is the resistance this is the resistance connected here a bit 24 volts this is the what is the value 4 ohms this is a 12 ohms I want to see voltage from here so V thermos now so what to do here total resistance I want to know so this current I want to know I want to the current what is the current here I so this is a I I want to know so then I required this is a connected series simply connected the series the circuit becomes now simple voltage source 4 ohms and 12 ohms 12 4 and this is a V is equal to 24 volts simple series circuit then I want to know that what is the current 
the current value is equal to this is equal to i i is equal to v by r ok so now what is the v now here v is equal to 24 divided by what is the r equivalent 4 plus 12 that is a 16 ok that is equal to 8 2 sa 8 3 sa ok that is equal to 1.5 amperes current is flowing. Now I find that what is the current in the circuit. So 1.5 amperes is so flowing in the circuit. So here the current in the circuit is equal to what is the current? 1.5. Then I want to know the what is the voltage here. That voltage is equal to V correct it. Corrected V V A B is equal to I into R. What is the I? I is equal to 1.5. What is the R? 12 ohms. So that is equal to how much? 18 volts. Okay, 18 volts. So now we got it. V thevenins is equal to 18 volts and R thevenins is equal to 3 ohms. Simply just represent the circuit. Okay, based on this one and write it. So here the voltage source and current source. Sorry, resistance value. Okay. So this is a voltage V thevenins. This is a R thevenins. So what is the this one value? Now this value is equal to how much we have got it? 18 volts. This is equal to 3 volts. That means here it becomes to the this one. So this is a nothing but connect. This is equal to 18 volts this is equal to 3 ohms A and B is ready to take any problem now now what are the first person came so what is the person so first we removed 3 ohms the consumer who is the 3 ohms now so that person you take it that person is the 3 ohms now whatever they removed that is the 3 ohms now find that what is the current now now what what you are going to do here simple series circuit now i want to know that current current is equal now i can write it i is equal, i want to know the current here okay that i is equal to v by r what is the v 18 volts what is the r r is equal is both are connected in series then 3 plus 3 that is equal to how much 6 6 ones are 6 threes are that i is equal to 3 amperes that is the current is required what is asked what is the current through the 3 ohm resistance 3 amperes okay that is the required suppose if we ask what is the voltage across 3 or AB then what is the voltage now the voltage V 3 ohms is equal to I into R what is the I I is equal to 3 ohms what is the R 3 ohms resistor now so what is the resistance 3 okay 3 into 3 9 volts voltage drop across the AB terminal or 3 ohms is a 9 volts suppose I want the power then power is equal to so what is the power P P is equal to V into 3 ohms I 3 ohms that is equal, what is the voltage 9 volts what is the current 3 27 
watts is a power okay that means now we have calculated what is the power consumed by the 3 ohm resistor is a 27 watts what is the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor is equal 9 volts and what is the current flowing through the 3 ohms is equal 3 amperes so whatever we required we can easily calculate by this method so how this complicated circuit is simplified now now instead of 3 ohms i want the 6 ohms connected simply the v 7 s r 7 is the same but simply instead of 3 ohms you connect the 6 ohms simple series circuit then what is the current then 6 plus 3 that is a 9 so that is the voltage 18 volts by 9 2 amps are flowing that one suppose i want the another resistance i require the 20 ohms simply same thing 100 ohms we connect the simple so once you are ready our raw materials prepared for factory that is a v thevenins and r thevenins and whatever you required any type of the ele any element we connected across that source then we are going to calculate the current this is a simple and easy method of converting complex circuits into simple circuits okay this is the beauty of thevenins theorem okay let us see that one problem in step by step in this one so what we have seen here the thevenins theorem so step one v thevenins here calculated instead of r thevenins is ready to calculate v thevenins so v thevenins means the open circuit voltage across the a b terminals where we remove the load that is equal to find the current so across the this one so that value is equal to applying the voltage division rule so what are the voltage 24 volts we known by applying the voltage division rule so we find that the voltage across the a b terminal is 18 volts simply we calculated now second step in second step we find that r thevenins by seeing the open terminals the, the both are connected in parallel that is called this into this is a connected in parallel then we are going to get the 3 ohms is the equivalent resistance okay now we placed here r thevenins and v thevenins in connected in series and the 3 ohms connected the so we are all connected in series then what is the current so 18 by 6 that is equal 3 amperes current flowing this one this is the current we are going to found in 3 ohms resistor okay so this is simple we can easily calculate it in simple circuits okay now for example you take the one complicated circuit so you may ask sir it is a very easy but in case of the complicated any complicated circuit can easily calculate it suppose you want to do one problem then so then we are going to so before that one so we will do the one problem one example okay so let us do the one problem okay now we take the one problem what is the problem is given one complicated problem is given here okay so for example find the current in a 5 ohm resistor so what is the source uh, circuit is given here one circuit is given here and here connect to the one resistance and here connect to the one uh, current source here okay now it is connected this one now is connected the another resistance here and it connected the another resistance here okay that is equal to rl now we taken the a this is a b is connected here now in this case we connected another resistance parallel to the d here okay this is a 10 ohms this is a 12 ohms this is a 2 ohms this is a 3 amperes current source this is a 50 volts source 
plus minus current direction this one okay this is a circuit is given what is asking find the current in 5 ohm resistor this is called 5 ohm resistor so that means i want to know what is the current here this is our aim okay simple so what what he what he has given he given the voltage source and current source and three passive elements 10 ohms 12 ohms and 2 ohms connected in delta passion not delta passion and he connected the 5 ohms at terminals a and b terminals you want to know that what is the current through the 5 ohm resistors okay this is a given problem simply simplified don't panic don't confuse step by step first step you find or thevenins or v thevenins okay first step is the find the or thevenins is better you calculate the or thevenins equivalent your first you prefer to the your mother then prefer for your father v thevenins then you sit both your father and mother then call the person who is required solution that is enough okay first you calculate your mother the or thevenins okay same apply the rules and regulations first step let us do now we can do it first step here first step you are going to calculate first or thevenins your mother okay your mother you are going to calculate next you v thevenins after that you are going to calculate your father okay so after calculating the or thevenins and v thevenins then write the equivalent circuit okay so write the what is the equivalent circuit of your mother father then your father and your mother and ready at the bar or thevenins and v thevenins now what are the people comes for the solutions they will sit at this darbar a and b terminals before we have to prepare ourselves prepare ourselves this father and mother okay so now first calculate your mother if you calculate the father now how to calculate simply you take the our circuit by seeing this circuit okay what okay, i can say minimize now by seeing this one now by simplified this circuit into in my own so i am going to simplify this circuit simplify so i want to or thevenins or thevenins in the while calculating my mother so what about the active sources present in the circuit i want to remove it with its internal resistance no sources active sources so simply if there is no internal resistance is given simply what write it short it okay now this is the one resistance here is the current source simply open it okay now here is another resistance connected here is another resistance is connected now this terminals these are the terminals i am going to calculate okay now what is the value here the value is the 2 ohms value is the 12 ohms and that value is the 10 ohms okay simple this connected this is a shorted here is a opened what is happen here simply 12 ohms and 2 ohms are connected in series okay na this is open so here we are going to get it this is circuit is a uh, 12 ohms and 2 ohms in series that is we are going to 14 ohms okay now it is connected the 10 ohms in parallel okay now we are going to the, this is the b terminal this is the a terminal now what is happen 10 into 4 by 10 plus 4 so what is the value so we are going to get equivalent circuit that is equal simple a and b 
sir what is the value so 14 so we are going to get it okay what is the equivalent value this is the value b then what is the value then what's the okay so this equivalent value is, is equal to r thevenants or r a b across the a b is equal to 10 into 14 divided by simple 24 then during this one we are going to get that current is equal 5.833 ohms this is the arthrogens we got our mother okay so where is our mother so this is a my mother I got it what is the value 5 point 5 point 833 ohms okay or evidence you find it similarly now find your father that is the V thevenants so from the basis circuit this is the basis circuit now now you calculate the basis circuit. now you calculate the year so for the I want to note that what is the voltage across this one for this purpose simply write the same equation in a good manner can I get okay I will get this one so I am going to calculate here okay so now here what we are going to do so I am going to calculate so across the this circuit once again I am going to write it in my way now here or this is the volt and connect resistance and here connector resistance here connector resistance connected here okay now here the current source is connected here now this is connected here so a this is a b okay now 10 ohms 12 ohms and 2 ohms this is equal to 50 plus minus in the 50 volts 3 amperes current source is the 3 amperes this is circuit now let us represent terminals with another one what is the terminals I can represent with some direction here A B and I can see the this is a C terminal and I can write it this is a D okay this is a E this is a F F and A same okay we can write it F F we can write it F next we can write it the G F this one okay so what are this one we can write it simply write it. so these are the arbitrarily I written some numbers now I am going to find values so how we are going to calculate this one you can see it here our aim is to find that voltage across this terminal V thevenants ok by seeing terminals we are going to V thevenants is equal to this and this two voltages are required so can I write it V thevenants is equal to V EC minus V E A can I write it that means here what about the source voltage minus drop this is a drop V V we can write the V A E this is not E no E A I can remove what about the source here what about the source here okay that source minus this drop I am going to this this voltage so I want to know the what EC voltage is required that purpose I can write it okay so I am going to find that here VEC is equal to VEC is equal to, so this voltage this source of 3 amperes I am assuming 
then this voltage is equal this voltage plus this voltage okay because i am represented this is a current is coming this direction okay so current is coming this direction that is equal to v uh, we can write it what is that one e d v e d plus v 50 volts that is called we can write it the uh, 50 volts so we are going to get that e is a voltage that means here don't confuse please here what is the e so here wh what you are going to do is here simply first whatever the circuit is given whatever the circuit is given so simply find the values across a and b terminals sorry b a and b terminals then we are going to and after that they are going to this one okay first we calculate the ec so here voltage across the ec ec means here what is the circuit now i want to know that across the terminals here and here so this voltage is equal to so i can represent that one i can write once again this circuit okay don't confuse just i am writing for the clarification now voltage source sorry voltage source and here is the some resistance current source connected here this is the resistance this is the EAP terminal ok now we are connected another resistance connected across here ok this is the current source now what is happen let us assume the current uh, let us represent terminals this is A, B, C, C, the next D and E, this is called F, this is called G, okay. Now, represent current direction, this current is called 3 amperes flowing let us assume the current which is flowing through the, this one is the x amperes then 3 minus x amperes is flowing that is a 3 minus x amperes flowing through 12 ohm resistors now the x amperes so this is an open circuit now the current is flowing here what is the current that current is a x so that is the current is a x is coming here now x plus 3 minus x so 3 amperes is flowing here ok same 3 amperes coming here ok now circuit is open now simple apply the loop equations what is the loop equation now close the loop find the I want to know the current x value if you know the x value then I can calculate the what is the values so let us represent the resistance values also what is the resistance values this is equal to 12 this is equal to 2 ohms this is equal to 10 ohms ok so now consider loop close loop ok what is the loop loop G ok a e e next d g ok this is a closed loop now we take in the current direction this one ok so we take in the current direction this is a loop equation I have taken so from that one G to F or G to A so what is the value so the loop direction is reverse the current direction is up that is I can write it 
plus what is the value 10 resistance okay now that is equal you can write it okay now equation loop this is the loop I am going to write it loop is equal to now 10 x plus x now it is coming to the 2 ohms that is called plus 2 x now you can see the di same direction minus what is the resistance that is called 12 what is the current now current is equal to 3 minus x here 3 minus 3 minus x is equal to 0 that is a closed loop okay so now what we have seen you can see simply so in a closed loop from G and F A E D I written the one closed loop equation here we take in the from from G to F we take in the plus 10 X and F to A there is no drop now A to E there is a drop across the 2 ohm resistors I written as a 2 into current is a X 2 X now E to D there is a drop same direction loop direction current direction the same direction so I take in the minus as we previously cal uh, assumed in a KCL KVL so now 12 into what is the current 3 minus X simply that I have written here okay that is equal to 0 now simplify it now after simplifying this one so what is the 10 X 2 X 12 into 3 minus 3 X by simplifying then so we are going to get that x is equal to what is the value simply I am going to get x value is a 1.5 amperes dear students this is a very simple but uh, I am uh, to save the time I just I am simple I calculating this value okay so what is the value this is the 12 amps or ohms ohms okay write it ohms so what is the value x value is the current no? sorry this is the amps only 12 amps so I know that now in this case I know the current x is equal to 1.5 amperes now I want to know that what is the voltage this voltage if you know this one now here what is the current 3 minus x 3 minus 1.5 what is the current in the 12 ohm resistor now you can write it 12 ohm resistor what is the current now this is equal to 3 minus 1.5 that is a 1.5 amperes is flowing okay now you can you know this drop you know this drop simply write it that is equal to okay you can write it here write the equation What is the equation now voltage across E and C is equal to 1.5 into 12 okay plus 50 volts okay then I am going to get what is the uh, voltage nearly 68 volts simply so multiply it okay that 68 volts we are going to get the voltage across the this and this terminals across these terminals okay if you know this one then from this value to subtract this value now I want to know that this VAB now from this one I want to know the V a B V A B is equal to V E C minus V E and A value. So what is the V A C here you know V A C 68 minus V A what is the current 2 amperes what is the resistance what is the 1.5 okay resistance is equal to 2 ohms and 1.5 is the current then 2 that is a 3 that is equal 
nearly 65 volts. Now, this is equal to V Thevenin's. Okay. Now you got your father also. Equivalent value of your father. Now, what is your mother? Mother is equal to 5.833 ohms, and your father is equal to 65 volts. Now, sit in a stitch. So we are going to stitch uh, sitting. Now you write the represent that equation. Now simply write the equation in stage your father and your mother at sight. Now it is a ready for that bar A and B. What is the value? Is your father value is a 65 volts plus minus. What is your mother? Mother is equal to 5.833 ohms. R thevenins and V thevenins. Now, what are the value you are going to find it? The 6 ohm. Now, that person who is full of problems now came to your that bar is connected here across the this terminals. 6 ohms. Now, what is the current now? I want to know current. The current across this one I want. So I is equal to this current is equal to V by R equivalent. Okay. So what is the V? Your father 65. What is the R equivalent? Your mother and this one. That is a 6 plus and 5.833. So you are going to get it. What is the current? Now that current is equal, you are going to get the current is equal to nearly what is the value so that is 65 by so 11.833 then we are going to the 6 amperes current that means yes 6 amps current is flowing in the circuit okay so this is the current we are going to find he asked what is the current through 6 ohm resistor is equal 6 amperes now if here you can observe Suppose in this case the person is a 6 ohms. Now suppose another person is a 3 ohms. What is the current? Now simply connect the same 3 ohms here. Now 3 plus 5, 8.33. So that is a 65 by 8.3. You are going to get the direct answer. Suppose another person uh, comes, its value is equal to 100 ohms. 100 plus 5.833. So, 105.8.3, 65 by 108.3, so you are going to get the same answer. Okay. So, you are ready to give solutions to any person comes to your Dharmar. This is known as a Thevenin's law. Okay. So, let us summarize what you have seen in this problem. So, in this problem, we calculated whatever the value is given here okay so here the problem is so it is a problem so this is the problem is given okay so this problem is given so you want to know that value here so this value is converted into so our simplified known networks calculated equivalent resistance across the where we remove the resistance or load resistance from that we have seen we calculated R thevenins, we calculated V thevenins and V thevenins and R thevenins connected in series and now it connected the load resistance. Then simple series circuit we found that what is the current in a circuit. Okay. So dear students this is a way of calculating in way of calculating in our circuit okay so these are the uh, things here to remember okay so what are the summer we have discussed in this lesson what is the statement of Thevenin's theory okay so what is the statement so you are very familiar step if the complex circuit okay so whatever the circuit is consist the number of voltage sources or current sources that is replaced with help of only simple single source and single resistance. Okay, 
what is the statement say any linear network consisting of voltage sources and resistances if weaved from any two terminals in the network can be replaced by an equivalent voltage source in series with equivalent resistance okay that is the definition now explanation we have explained one circuit with r1 r2 and r3 and also we have done the some numerical problems okay so i think you have understood what do you mean by thevenin's theorem how it can helps to solve a complex electrical networks okay thank you for listening my class